Hello everybody, this is Dr. McBrick and I am here with part two of my Space Station Research Center uh, training facility build. Um, just uh, as you can see, I got all kinds of parts out here and stuff like that. Um, what I've uh, started to do is I'm starting to do more tiling. So as you can see around the front here, starting to do that uh, pavement there. Um, and the pavement will probably extend way back up over, or way over here, um, because uh, this will, this is gonna be the road out right in front of the research center here, um, or the training center. So inside I've extended this uh, carpet, the nice plush orange and white carpet, that's kind of the display area, so that when people come in, they can kind of, the big wigs and stuff, can kind of stand there and look at the display or the public, and then go upstairs. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use use the dark gray tiles um, that come in from the garage right up there and I'm going to kind of make them all the way through here and kind of come up here and make a little walkway right through there and then a walkway over here to the clean room um, and then I think I might just leave all this right here around the uh, centrifuge here I might leave this uh, studs so uh, anyway I'm gonna see what happens and uh, we'll uh, keep building Okay, so did you ever get yourself into a position like this where you have to put tiles under this, but your hands are just so huge or whatever, and you can't get under here? Um, well, what I do, and everything counts, because if you get one of the tiles off, then you got to somehow pry it open and you don't really have enough room for a brick separator and stuff like that, and it can be a real pain. So one of the things I always do is I use the slide technique. I take a tile that I need to uh, put on and I just slide it right into place um, right there and press down and then that way the chances of uh, losing that uh, that particular spot right there see how that goes in like that so, and I do that pretty much on every uh, every spot that I need to do because if I don't um, what's going to happen is uh, I'll be one off and then I'm going to need a one and it's just going to mess up my pattern and all that kind of stuff Okay, I got the floor tiled on the inside now, and I think it looks really good. You can see that nice uh, orange and white tile coming all the way down until it ends right here. Um, and then you can see the display. I added some more kind of sand or earth looking uh, um, studs to the uh, display. They're just some uh, plates basically. Uh, and then what I did was I used this dark bluish gray all the way down through the uh, main part of the training facility all the way over here to the clean room. Now, I put the uh, or yellow and black, um, kind of the OSHA line here uh, that goes around that says, do not cross that line, um, do not collect $200, that sort of thing. Um, so anyway, uh, you can see kind of how it, uh, how it kind of shows the, uh, the centrifuge there and, and just do not step past that line type of thing. And of course I can fold this up and everything like that. But uh, I think that tile looks pretty good there. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Here's another tip. When you're making large expanses of walls such as these, um, you're going to use a lot of bricks. Now, these bricks, the uh, two by fours um, get, uh, are two or one by fours get very expensive pretty fast. Um, but the uh, two buys are pretty cheap to come by and actually the three buys aren't too bad as well. So I have a good stock of threes, twos and fours and then just a couple of ones is all you need. But basically what you do is um, you want to interlock all your bricks and that's very important. Now I know a lot of you already know that but when you're making these, um, it's, it's best to, to make sure that whenever you put a brick on, um, it overlaps the other brick. Basic masonry techniques, obviously, um, but that definitely helps keep the wall nice and sturdy when you have a big expanse of wall like this. Okay, so here is the finished product. This is the research center, uh, training center for the astronauts. Now, this is rather plain right now because once I fit it into the space center, there'll be a road right here and then I'll start putting stuff around it. But I did add the drive and the walk uh, just so you get an idea. So on the outside, if you look at it, uh, basically it fits in with the Lego City sub theme of space with the orange, the white and the blue. I think the trim looks very good and is subtle, but yet tells the story of the original sets in terms of the color scheme. We have on the outside the stickers that came with one of the uh, city space sets. 
And then right here we have a Jumbotron, and this Jumbotron can be viewed on the inside as well as outside, and this is what the researchers stand to do. There's a big horn, some cameras and things like that, of course, for security. Um, we have a bay uh, that you can uh, drive into or have, if you happen to have larger vehicles or anything that needs in there, equipment, that sort of thing. And then this is the outside view to the clean room that we have. Now, on the outside, it's pretty basic. Uh, the front is, uh, um, I think, uh, has a little depth and a little bit of texture and, and some things like that with the, uh, with the roof. It's not fancy, but again, it's not meant to be fancy. It's a research facility. And most of the time, those buildings are just boxes. So uh, this is basically a box. Now, I am going to replace these with white, but these are the uh, modular, the two studs on the end uh, for, the, um, for the roof to come off. But I will replace those with white, so have no fear. All, everywhere you see those, I'll replace them with white. There's a little ventilation that comes out the bottom. Um, and then, of course, we have our obligatory AC unit, which is just kind of a simple unit there. Nothing in the back, no windows or anything of that nature. Um, we do have this orange striping that uh, gives it just kind of a little detail. However, the reason I added that striping, and the well, I wanted to add some detail to it, but because we have the second story on this level, I have black plates. And rather than doing a double wall or trying to use a lot of bricks to cover that up, because this thing, just look at all those bricks. I mostly used uh, two by ones. Um, but this was, this was probably about 400 bricks. Um, maybe even more of just the white. But anyway, um, so I had that black for the floor that came out. And so I just stopped it right there. Uh, it doesn't look that great, but you know what? I added the stripe and everything like that. So uh, let me know what you think about that. You know, I, I, I could have made this white instead of adding a stripe, but I thought the orange looked kind of cool. Um, and then we have our basic uh, flat blue roofs. Again, took a lot and a lot of plates to get those roofs to get roofs together. Um, and then right over here, we have a suggestion of a maintenance door so that you can actually come out here and work on the AC unit and the roof and such like that. So let's take off the roof pieces and let's take a look inside. Now you've seen most of this on the inside before because I've shown it to you, but now you can see it kind of in all of its glory. Now you see the maintenance door, the suggestion of a maintenance door is right up here. Um, and uh, that's actually just one of the corrugated pieces, but uh, I think it looks pretty good um, right there as a maintenance door. Down in here we have our clean room and you can see that it is all sealed off and they're doing some experiments there with some rocks and things of that nature. The centrifuge, I guess you could have both going on. Um, and this freely spins and that is why this area is pretty much uh, um, plain. Okay, so we folded that up and you can see right here is some ventilation, some uh, suggestion of ventilation there. Right over here is actually Precinct 78. Now this is an homage to one of the police or space police sets from back in the day. And you can see there's a table there with a little keyboard and a suggestion of a computer monitor. And that's because the person who's going to be doing the exercising or the stress test on the treadmill will need to be hooked up there to that particular cart. Um, and then here's something I'm very, very proud of. I've mentioned this a couple of times, but right there, the LL918 is an homage with the blue, with the, um, with the yellow there, the yellow trans piece and this blue beam. Um, that is from Benny's first spaceship back in the day. So I'm very, very proud of that. Now, as we go over to the top, this is a very, very high atrium here. Um, and as you walk in, you see you're greeted right there. That gray room way back there um, is the uh, is the, the, the AC um, and filtration unit and stuff like that. That was in the first part to this video. Um, but you can see all the different uh, experiments going on. There's that stand there where the uh, astronaut or the researcher sits. There's the plant and botany experiment and everything like that. Um, and uh, just another little uh, area where they can kind of spin some uh, things in a, in a jar there on the, uh, the, the spinner and, 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 and take it apart and dissect it for its elements and things. And there is a, uh, a place where a technician will stand or sit with the phone, the red phone, which must be very, very important, um, and a little pad of paper and things of that nature. Now down below, um, and I've, I've shown this to you, um, to you in other, other uh, uh, videos, but down below you have the, uh, the, 
the Mars uh, simulation down there with the uh, with the um, the terrain and and there's a little uh, satellite that has landed or a little uh, um, drone I guess that has landed there. Then you also have the uh, honoring the first women in space and in the space program with various different jobs there. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, so basically this is a place where someone can come in the public or some of the big wigs in the space organization. Um, there is the space helmet that they are currently using and there is a flat screen that shows pictures of the galaxy as we see it. Now down here, and this is really hard to get to down in here, but down here is a, uh, let's see if I can get some light on this. I guess I don't have any light. Um, sorry about that, but down here is a experiment and it is a moon rock or a Mars rock or whatever planet it's on. And that is under glass and under high security uh, right there. So that is the um, Space Research Center training facility. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know how you think it turned out. Um, I think it turned out pretty well, to be quite honest with you. Like I said, I'll put a perimeter fence around it and uh, put other stuff around the sides and the front and all that kind of stuff once I get it into the Space Center. So well, that's about all I have for today's episode. And this mock is in the can now. It's done. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video if you liked it. That's how YouTube knows that you like to watch my videos. Um, share this video with your friends if you're so inclined. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please press that subscribe button and the notification bell on your screen. That'll let you know when I have more videos to come. So anyway, thanks so much for all your support. This is Dr. McBrick signing out.